You see this diagram where there is a true equinus, only the foot is uh, in the plantigrade position in this really alpha angle which is uh, calculated by the long axis of tibia and the long axis of the foot there is usually greater than 90 degree. For that we give hinged AFO. If there is flexion contracture of the knee this usually uh, associated with gastro, uh, gastro hamstring recession actually the problem is gastro soleus hamstring both are tight leading to a knee flexion as well as equinus. Although angle is greater than 90 but we, we can also give hinged AFO. If the problem is in like in case of apparent equinus in which although the foot looks like an equinus but usually the problem is somewhere in the hip and the knee then for that solid AFO can be given as well. If the foot is a plantigrade that is angle is less than uh, uh, 90 but the problem is when the child walks due to tight hamstrings over here the knee joint reflection contracts the knee joint the foot goes into equinus therefore we don't do some need to do something over here the problem lies over here so addressing the hamstrings and uh, tightness their tightness is also important along with giving and uh, GRAFO that is another form of AFO is can be given.